Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're back and I've got a new video for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at some of my favorite tips and common questions with regards to lines and polylines in AutoCAD. I think these are gonna save you a ton of time and if you didn't know even one or two of these tips, you're gonna really appreciate knowing them now. Let's jump right into today's video. I'm excited to get back. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be taking a look at a few common tips and then kind of questions and fixes when it comes to lines and polylines in AutoCAD. The first one we're gonna check on here is a line type that isn't generating or showing up properly. Now, a lot of times this is going to have to do with excessive uh, number of points or arcs or curves in a line, and it's just not gonna be able to repeat or print out say text or a shape from a line type. Now this can be solved in a few different ways. One by using line types that have say smaller patterns are going to allow a lot more uh, flexibility when you've got really detailed lines. Another is removing some of these vertex points to kind of lengthen out and and smooth out the line. You can see when I drag this one here out the line type starts to generate and that's simply because this segment or the distance between the two vertex is too small for the shape from the uh, line type to fit now there's another workaround uh, which i'll pref i tend to prefer especially if you don't want to mess with any of your line type scales or the actual line types and that's by using the p edit command or pe as the short command and then enter it's going to ask you to select a polyline. You can also hit M to select multiples. I'm just going to choose this one here. And we're going to turn on the line type generation variable. You can see that down along the bottom here under L. So if you hit L and hit enter, it's going to ask you if you would like to turn on polyline line type generation. And you're just going to type O N for on and hit enter. You can see now that it has forced the gas uh, symbol to follow the polyline a lot better. Uh, it's also kind of added it in where these segments were too short. This is going to fix 99% of your line type issues when you're running into line type symbols or text not displaying properly. All right, so next up we're gonna use a similar command, one that's also part of the pedit list. Uh, but in this one, we're going to instantly convert a variety of different line styles or types into a polyline. So you can see here, we've got this odd line shape. And if I select each segment, you can see this one here, if I bring over my properties menu, is a spline which is different from a polyline or a line. It's more maneuverable like this, and it's going to kind of roughly go between the points in a smooth arcing configuration. We've also got a line segment, so I'm gonna just kind of clean that up a little bit. Let's just say we want it like that. We've also got a single line segment here. This is a polyline. We've also got a line, and then another line here. And this one here is an arc. So these are all different types of line or arc objects. And what you can do with the P edit command, so by typing PE, we can join all of these together, converting them to a polyline in the process. So in this case, we're gonna type M for multiple and hit enter. And we're simply going to select all of these objects. Hitting enter is gonna give us another prompt now. And this is gonna ask if we would like to convert any lines, arcs, sp and splines into polylines automatically. Type Y and hit enter for yes. And then it's gonna ask you for a precision for your spline. And that's simply how tightly packed it's going to add vertexes to continue this shape here. Uh, you can leave it the default, you can turn this up or down depending on how yours looks and how detailed you want the spline to be converted into a polyline. But again, it's simply taking those smooth arcs and curves and converting them into smaller line segments. I'm gonna leave it at the default for now and hit enter. 
And now we're at our normal P edit menu. And what you're going to want to do here before you hit enter and leave is type J to instantly join all of these polyline segments into a single polyline. Hitting enter is going to ask us for the fuzz distance. And this is kind of the tolerance between the endpoints of these lines that you're going to allow while joining. So it'll fill small gaps if you increase this fuzz distance. You can add a few inches or an eighth of an inch here if you would like. I'm just going to hit enter since I know all of mine are connected vertex to vertex. And we're done. You can see down at the bottom here, it added 26 segments to a single polyline. Hitting enter is going to get you out of the command or hitting escape. Now you can see when we select our line, it's all been converted into a single polyline and they are all connected along this odd shape. So again, this is gonna save you a ton of time if you've accidentally say gone through and drawn a bunch of line segments individually and you wanna convert all of that to a polyline. Polylines are also gonna allow you to add more complex line types so that they're gonna display uniformly throughout the entire line. If this was all individual segments, the line types may not look quite right or match up. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a look at a few more of the P edit options. So we're gonna type in PE and hit enter, select this polyline up top here, and you can see the list of options available to you at the bottom here. Uh, you can choose the close command if you're, say, working on a polygon and you want to quickly close up any open areas or fill any gaps. So that's going to create a closed polygon. If you're running into issues saying uh, a polyline is not closed for, say, hatching, using this to close it is going to help save you a bit of a headache. Join is just what is says it is and we use that earlier it's going to join all of the selected polylines assuming they are within the fuzz distance that it's going to ask you which is the tolerance between them width is simply going to allow you to change the width so we can change it to one you can see that it just by default is going to automatically change the width to whatever you type in so we're going to type width then we're going to go back to say 0.1 it's still thicker, but it's a little bit more manageable. Now, Edit Vertex is going to let you edit a vertex by selecting through them. Uh, I'll show you here. So you can see up above, this one here is selected. You can choose the next vertex or the previous. You can choose to break, insert, or move that vertex. You can also regen your line, straighten, draw from the tangent of the line or arc, change up your width uh, of a specific segment or vertex, or you can type E for exit there, or X. Uh, next is fit, and fit is going to fit, say, almost a spline between all of your arcs, creating a smoother flowing line using your vertex as kind of the PI or base points for each curve. Now you can see what this will do when I click fit here. You can see it's just smoothed out our line using those vertex points and basically linking arcs between them. You can undo that command by hitting the undo button here and redo it. You can also convert your uh, vertices to a spline by clicking the spline option. Now that's going to basically choose the smoothest or fastest path through all of your points, not necessarily going through each point. Uh, next is D curve, which is going to basically remove all of those curves you can add in fit or spline. And then the last two, uh, line type gen, we've already gone over, and reverse is simply going to flip or reverse the direction of your line, at least in AutoCAD's mind. It's not going to actually change the line, but if it's saying going from left to right as you drew it, it would then be going from right to left. Now this is going to matter uh, mostly only with line types. So if you have say a swale or a directional arrow kind of line type, reversing it is going to flip the direction. Same as if you have say a top or bottom of slope line type with little hash marks along it, reversing it is going to flip those to the other side of the line. Now that's it for P edit. But in our next tip, we're gonna take a look at a few other options to speed up editing your polylines as you work.
But before we jump into that, I wanted to remind you guys that if you wanted to learn more AutoCAD tips, tricks, and workflows, you should check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows in a Hurry course, which is available for instant download to watch right now at the link up above and down in the description. It's discounted for viewers like yourself and subscribers right now using those links. It's packed full of over 10 years of my experience uh, condensed down to a handful of videos that are going to teach you the fundamentals of AutoCAD as well as a ton of workflows and tips and tricks that are going to save you time as you produce your drawings. It's really going to jumpstart your CAD skills and I highly recommend it. Alright, so for our last tip, I wanted to show you guys a few quick commands when working with polylines or lines that are going to save you time. The first one is the trim command. So if you're trying to make a clean edge or corner of a line intersection, typing in TR for trim and selecting your objects, you can now trim using these as your kind of edges. So I've hit enter again, and now you can see it's going to highlight what's going to happen if I click on any of these line segments. So they're going to trim off of using each other as kind of the cutting plane. So you can see I can very quickly draw a box just by trimming all of these corners off. Now that may or may not be quicker, but when you're working fast through a drawing, running lines through each other, uh, especially if you're trying to do things like this or like run them through a corner, uh, this is going to speed things up rather than trying to find exact points, just running lines past each other and then trimming them later to make a nice clean box. You can then use the join command, typing in join, selecting all of your objects and hitting enter is going to automatically create a polygon out of your polyline that is now closed and connected. All right, so lastly, we can also use the extend command to speed up our drawing process in a similar way. Maybe we want, we have a few lines over here, maybe they're property lines or something, and you have another one over here, and say you've got a line like this over here. So you want to extend your line into a nearby line, simply typing extend or EX for the short command and selecting your objects, hitting enter. You can now go and hover over these lines and they're going to extend automatically into the next line that you've selected. This is going to save you a ton of time. Simply doing this uh, more often is going to cut corners on your drawing uh, time. You can see here I've selected all these lines, hit enter, and now I can simply extend all of these so that they connect to the outer boxes. You can then go and use your trim command to trim some of these away. Maybe you want to make a few more edits like that. So you can see how quick these commands can make drawing. I've now got a connected bow tie looking polyline here uh, with just a few clicks and using those quick commands. In that segment there or in that sequence, I simply used the trim and extend commands and then typed in join to join them all together. So I hope you guys learned a few little tricks or tips with line types and lines today. Uh, again, if you guys like this video or any of my videos, don't forget to check out my workflows and fundamentals course. Again, it's linked up above and down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.